Today we've got Intel's Core X lineup fully revealed, plus some possible i3 leaks and Intel has announced they plan to debut their 8th generation Coffee Lake CPUs on... Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I get started, definitely don't forget to subscribe. It truly helps the channel and ensures you stay up to date on all things GamerMeld, where gaming and hardware unite. Okay, let's get into it. First up, Intel has revealed the, well, the date that they're going to reveal Coffee Lake. It'll actually be on the same day as the upcoming Solar Eclipse, the 21st. Don't worry though, they're set to have the release prior to the actual eclipse. Now, while talking Coffee Lake, there are some supposed leaks that paints the upcoming Coffee Lake i3 as a pretty unbelievable uptick from Intel's usual i3 paradigm. I will say that the leaks really aren't substantiated, but they're about what I was hoping for, if not a little better, so I figured I'd share it with you. It comes from the Chinese site ptt.cc and was found by video cards. The seemingly top tier i3 8350K is set to be a 4 core, 4 thread beast with a very impressive 4 GHz base clock. Then there's the 4 core, 4 thread i3 8100 that's not overclockable but comes with an at least decent 3.6 GHz base clock. Neither CPUs show boost clock numbers, but if this is true, Intel has certainly stepped up their game in more ways than one. Lastly, Intel has officially revealed their Core X Enthusiast CPU's remaining lineup, and it's exactly the same as the leaked one I discussed not too long ago. All three have a TDP of 165 watts and support up to 44 PCI Express 3.0 lanes. Now, some outlets are touting Intel comes with up to 68 PCI Express lanes, but while it's technically correct, 24 of those lanes come from the chipset, and with all 24 together, only have essentially a x4 PCIe 3.0 bandwidth. This does help them utilize these lanes for adding things like more SATA ports without taking workloads from the CPU, but it's still not a full 68 traditional lanes when you would think of them. At least that's what the data seems to suggest. So on to the CPUs. The 14 core 28 thread i9 7940X comes in at a base clock of 3.1 GHz and a boost of 4.3 GHz. The 16-core 32-thread i9-7960X has a base clock of 2.8 GHz and a boost of 4.2. Lastly is the 18-core 36-thread i9-7980XE with a base clock of 2.6 GHz and a boost of 4.2. Keep in mind that the Turbo Boost 3.0 isn't a boost to every core. Okay, a little opinion here. When it comes to the boost clocks, they're certainly nothing to scoff at. An 18-core CPU with a clock speed of 4.2 GHz is impressive. I think the only question is how they were able to get such a high boost clock with such a low base clock. I understand the TDP is higher, but I don't know. Is there going to be some kind of heat issue? I guess we're just going to have to find out. While that ends today's video, do you think it's going to have an issue with heat or will the 4.2 GHz just be the limit of even manual overclocking? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.